Hello YouTube. This is my most recent home improvement project. Um, I replaced the old concrete laundry tub that was down here with this plastic one. And I replaced all the old steel drain piping with PVC plastic piping. And this is a double bowl laundry tub just like the one I removed out of here. Um, the reason why I stuck with the double bowl is for safety reasons. What if you had a single bowl laundry tub? and the drain got clogged and the water level got so high and, and the water spilled onto the basement floor either causing a basement flood or or major puddles on your basement floor and yeah I mean with the double bowl it's got this divider right here and the and the divider is kinda concaved so that way if the water level gets too high the excess water will spill into the other bowl preventing floodage to your basement or uh, major puddles on your basement floor and yes, I got this tub for safety reasons because of that. And this tub costed $88 on sale at Menards. And I replaced all the old steel drain piping with this PVC plastic piping. That's where the drain starts. That's where the trap connects to. And the piping runs all the way along this basement wall here. Into an elbow. Then across again into a T with a cap on it. Then it goes across into another elbow then this then the pipe uh, runs along this wall into the floor drain and the floor drain is steel and I had to cut it to size with a reciprocating saw and I joined the, the PVC and the steel together with that black rubber boot that I got my flashlight flashed on it's just like a small radiator hose like a bypass hose you know like for my Dodge Dakota truck and it has a couple uh, radiator hose clamps on it so that way it joins the PVC and the steel together uh, right there and the reason why I got that the reason why I put that T in between the two walls you know right there right there is because of uh, just in case the drain gets clogged I could unscrew the top cap and run a snake through the piping to get it unclogged and the old steel piping that was here, there was nothing supporting it, and the piping wasn't level. I mean, the piping was just sloping towards the back of the dryer right there. And I leveled all the new piping out, and I supported the piping with these uh, with these uh, with these oak strips I glued on a wall with thick, with liquid nails, and I anchored the piping to the to these oak strips with uh, copper straps with uh, drywall screws or deck screws and now the piping is all level and underneath the tub I also put one of those uh, access caps on there just in case the pipe gets clogged I could unscrew that cap and just run a snake through the piping to get it unclogged and unlike the old tub uh, this new tub has a trap in between the two bowls and, you, and all you need to do is just take the trap apart the main trap apart just so you can get that uh, little trap unclogged in between the two bowls and unlike the old tub which had drains right in the corners right there it was hard to get a plunger in those uh, the new one um, it has the drains in the center and it's easier to put a plunger to, to get a plunger working in there I mean the plunger will stick to the plastic and not the concrete. Uh, the concrete ones were kind of hard to get, hard to get unclogged. Uh, the old tub, I mean, it, of course, it's got a trap in between the two bowls, but it's just some sort of like metal piece that's cemented in it in the bowl, cemented in the tub, right here. I think it's like a flat trap. And over time, uh, of course, it rusted out. And there's there's just there's just like major rust trunks, major rust chunks in there, and to only and to service it, you would have to take this pipe off, which is seized on there, and you see the old manufacturer number on the bottom. And this this tub was so heavy, um, I didn't want to carry it off its stand. I just let it fall on the floor, and when I let it fall on the floor, uh, the tub cracked. Um, of course, I can't carry it out of the basement. I'm going to have to smash it with a sledgehammer. But this tub deserves that. I mean, it deserves its punishment. It got, it got clogged so many damn times. 
and I couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong with it so yeah it's gonna meet its fate with the sledgehammer and here's all the old steel piping um, right here I don't know I might put it by the alley for the Mexican scrappers to take um, otherwise I could just scrap it myself to make a few extra bucks and yeah hopefully this new tub will uh, serve us well compared to the old crappy concrete crappy one and yeah and that concludes this video and I sure hope you enjoyed it bye